Okay, this is going to be a, a video on how to start up your machine. Um, first thing you're going to want to do is power on. You're probably going to see an alarm flashing up there. So what you want to do is hit reset. And then you got to do a power up restart. And you're going to have to have the doors closed to do it. You just want to make sure the doors are closed. And then you hit power up restart. You'll hear the machine go up and down. It's going to go over to the machine zero, and then depending on what machine you're on, it, it's going to do a tool change. It, I don't think this one does a tool change, that one over there will do a tool change to tool number one. Okay, so it's at our home position. You know that, it'll just stop, so you, it's ready to go. Then on your key, on your control panel, you got your on and off button, you got your emergency stop, you got your handle jog, cycle start, and feed hold. Then you got your family of buttons over here. You got your restart, power up, and the recovery. Recovery you're going to need to do if for some reason you stop the machine in the middle of a tool change. So once a, once a, once a machine's doing the tool change, let it go through and do a tool change unless you see something wrong, like there's a tool in the pocket that it's going into, hit either e-stop or cycle, cycle hold or feed hold. Uh, but you do not want to try to stop the machine doing a tool change. Okay. Here you got your F function keys. These are kind of, I call them the hidden mystery keys. F2 you use quite a bit. F1 you're going to use for entering offsets. Um, F3 and F4 use those quite a bit in the graph. You got your tool offset measure button and your part zero button. Those are the two, you don't really use the next tool, they're tool release. Actually, the tool release is a default in there that it, it's a deactivated key. Here you got your jog buttons, the white ones. Okay, so when you're in hand jog, this is how you select your axis. The A axis is for a rotary table. We're not gonna be doing that, but you got your, your Z, your X, and your Y. Here you got some M function codes for your chip auger. That's an auger on the bottom, it'll clean out your chips. You got forward, stop, and reverse. And you have one programmable, programmable coolant nozzle on there. And here you have coolant up, coolant down, and auxiliary coolant. That would be for a spindle through, but we don't have that. So you're gonna use your coolant up, coolant down. You have your program overrides here. The first set is for your feed rates. Second set's for your spindle. So if you're running a program and your feed rate isn't quite right, you can either do it in increments of 10%, plus or minus, same thing with your spindle. If you want to increase or decrease your spindle speed, you can, you can do that with your buttons here. Here, if you're in the MDI, you just want to start your spindle. That's what this is clockwise, stop and counterclockwise. And here you got four options for rapid moves within your program. Remember G00 is a rapid move. If you wanted to do it full speed, as fast as the machine can go, you go at 100%. First time running your program, you always want to be at 5%. It gives you a little bit more time to hit the e-stop button, your panic button. And over here are your function keys. You got your edit, that's where you're gonna do all your programming. Memory, that's where you gotta be when you wanna run a program. MDI is basically a one-time, is a one-time function, one-time thing, whatever you want to do, just one time. Here it's set up right now, the T11 M06, so it's a tool change. If you wanted to run your spindle, you put your S code in there, M03, and then you can hit alter. I'm gonna get rid of the M06 up here. I hit delete. Okay, so I got a little one line program, if you guys remember that for writing your program. S is your RPMs, M03. Cycle start. Spindle starts up. Okay? You want it to stop, you hit stop. So that's how you can get your, start, your spindle going, and that's through MDI. You got hand jog. This is how you can use these buttons over here with this handle jog. Now, on this machine, if you notice, I turn the button. Machine doesn't move, but this is flashing up here. Okay, so when you hit hand jog, this brings this screen up. You want to make sure manual is highlighted in red, and it's going to see manual mode here. 
and you're going to hit the right enter button. Okay, and now it tells you in two places what axis is active. You can jog into your Z axis and it's telling you how fast, but over here it's also flashing red in Z. And your speed for your jogs, you have 0 .0001, 110, which is the slowest. 0.1 is your fastest. <coughs> You want to change the axis, you hit. Same thing with the Y. So that's how you can manually move around in the machine when you're doing your edge pickups and whatever else you need to do. You can do a Z return by hitting home, home G28, it sends the machine home, okay? And then list programs. Here's all the programs in the memory. Okay, you can select programs, send, receive, or if you're using the RS-232 cable, you can erase programs. Here you have your alphabetical <coughs> keys, alphabetical order, and then your numerical keys. So that's basically the control panel. Now a couple of things you can do within that, let's say if you want to just face off a part, you're going to put your, your tool in there, you go to MDI, make sure you have a program, hit cycle start with a tool in there that you want to face off the part. Now we're going to, this is an example of facing off a part without writing a program. Basically you're going to do it by hand. Okay, so we got our spindle going, we're going to go to hand jog, okay. We're still, our manual is not read anymore, so we're, we're able to jog in the Y. So I would move the machine around. Bring it down, and I would put it to where I want it to go. Okay, now the other X, if you want to machine an X, hit the X. Now there's two ways you can do this. You can actually hand wheel it across your part, or you can hold down the axis that you want to move it at, and the machine will do it. It'll feed by itself. It gives you a little bit better finish. It's a little bit easier on the cutter, because it's a more of an even feed instead of a herky jerky motion with the with the hand wheel. When you want to, when you're off your part, just stop it. You can also feed up. If you want to raise off your part, C plus, C minus, C negative. So that's basically an overview of the control panel.